Thank you to the Hollywood Museum for hosting this event. Thank yeah. you, Diana. <laughs> Thank you to Roger Neal for being the substitute MC. <laughs> All the speakers today and all the video tributes, they were just uh, very, very nice. Uh, I want to thank the video staff. Uh, as you see, they've done quite a good job getting all the timing up here. The catering staff, thank you. Food is delicious. And the catering staff, who screened everyone, kept out the unwanted. <laughs> Okay, so one may wonder, how does a guy like me, my business is information technology, how does a guy like me, and I grew up in Hawaii, get hooked up with the petite flower, the Aphrodite of the accordion, the princess of panty shields, the love goddess, well, mm -hmm. as you've heard, what Judy would say, it could happen. happen. <laughs> Judy and I first met um, over 14 years ago. Um, it was a lonely period in my life. I was working 14 to 18 hours a day. That's what IT people do, you know. And I was invited to a singles dinner. So I said, what the heck? Something might happen. <laughs> so I went there. It was at the stand in Encino. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Anyway, I was hungry. So I decided, well, I guess I'll get a couple of hot dogs. Except I didn't know it came, each hot dog came with a giant pile of chips. <laughs> so I took these two giant plates over to the table, started eating, and across the table, there was this redhead making eyes at the chips. <laughs> and that's how it started. <laughs> Our first date was the Beatles and Beethoven at the Disney concert hall, it's the LA Philharmonic. Judy loved music, as do I. The first event she, she brought me to was the Hollywood Christmas Parade. <laughs> which was a big experience for me. <laughs> um, at the time, I was driving a 10-year-old Toyota. So she got in it and made you know, one of her funny looks. As we drove up in a 10-year-old Toyota, it ran great. <laughs> and 120,000 miles on it. Perfect car. <laughs> And we went in, and so in that parade, everybody gets to ride in a convertible. So Judy's sitting up top, and she says, you go sit over there. <laughs> and that was the beginning of my plus one career. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, I, within a couple of months, I had a different car. <laughs> so Judy and I shared movies. She loved movies, um, not scary ones. Um, concerts, we love to go to concerts. Um, her favorite concert is Katy Perry. And uh, very close second, Sarah Brightman. We saw her several times. She loved musical productions, especially ones with tap dancing. She yeah. loved tap dancing. Yeah. And um, we recorded Singing in the Rain. So whenever 
There's some times when um, we feel like seeing some tap dancing. We cue it up and watch tap dancing. Donald O'Connor and Gene Kelly. They were great. You know, we go for walks in the gardens. As you know, she's loved flowers. You can see some of the pictures of all of her flowers. And we took lots and lots of photos of Judy and flowers. <laughs> and of course, you've heard a number of times, and you've all experienced in the closet with Judy. <laughs> After her cancer diagnosis, um, she had surgery and chemotherapy, and uh, she recovered pretty well. Uh, and the doctors said that um, she was well enough to travel. Uh, the pandemic was just uh, getting over with the pandemic, and she wanted to see flowers. So Judy and I scheduled a trip to Amsterdam where she could see the two of us. And some of the uh, photos you've seen are with her posing with two of us. So I want to say to Judy, thank you. Thank you for letting me be your plus one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to introduce the photo montage that does not have C.J. Vance and, and Michael Fister. <laughs> we lucked out. <laughs> okay. We started it. Stop! <laughs> okay, so I was, uh, for the funeral, I was told to pick 80 photos to put in this montage. Talk about stress. I had over 8,000 to look through and select them. And even then, I found more afterwards. Every night, Judy and I listen to what we call our sleeping time playlist. And one of the songs on that playlist is Stardust by Nat King Cole. It's one of her favorite songs. So that's what you hear at the beginning. And following that, is we have all the time in the world, which is a beautiful and bittersweet instrumental. So let's go.